I'm a ghost, I'm a cold-blooded killer But I wouldn't hurt you Every inch of your skin closes in I surrender, will you be my last one? Into the vault, you'll never know How far the cycle goes And even though you're made of gold What's up, everybody? Thank you again for tuning into KCSU Radio. My name is Justin, and today I have special guest with us, Sorrow, and is what would you what would you like to call him? Uh, producer, magic maker, um, All right, magic maker Dave, <laughs> yeah. uh, magic Dave, <laughs> magic Dave. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> magic Mike. I right. just got here, and it's our first time here, and we're loving it. We're loving the hospitality. Everyone's great. Um, and it's it's raining today, so yeah. I kind of love the rain. I actually love gloomy days. Um, so yeah, we're loving it. Um, so how are you feeling about today's performance, especially considering it's a college basically town performance? Yeah, I'm excited. We've done some college shows before, and it's always like a kind of a cool vibe because everyone in the college scene and that's in college has really good music taste usually because everyone just <laughs> like you know is studying, listening to music and stuff. So it's always like a cool vibe, and it's like like-minded, you know. You know, similar age people, so it's it's cool. Yeah, we like it. I myself, I'm actually a music major, and I feel like it's very important. You know, that college students nowadays really have that sort of aspect where they have that connection and see, you know, these artists that are up and coming or that have different styles. So uh, your style, like you know, talking about that, how would you describe that? Like your sound and how you would want that to kind of be perceived by your audience? Yeah, I think that it's kind of a hybrid of a lot of different things, um, but. Right now, I like to say that it's kind of experimental R&B because you know the root of like my vocal performance is usually R&B, but we like to get a little weird with the production and like kind of think outside the box. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like future R&B, experimental R&B. We try to do weird shit, and <laughs> just kind of paint outside the lines when we can. Yeah, it's, I, I love that. I love when artists, you know express themselves in a way that you know they don't want to just label themselves to one specific sort of genre you know it's it's very refreshing when you hear an artist that is really willing to allow themselves to express themselves fully you just came out with a new EP in uh, December um, and how would you how would you describe that sort of emotion that you want your audience to feel from that you know it's like music videos are very I would say like artistic you know very personal mm -hmm. and so how would you like describe the way that you're trying yeah. to say that? So this EP was like pretty introspective. So when I was writing it, it wasn't, I actually wasn't thinking like, you know, how are people going to perceive this? It was kind of just like, this is how I'm feeling. So, but, but hearing how people are perceiving it and reacting to it is like honestly such an amazing feeling because people are really, you know, um, resonating with kind of the messages that I've hidden in the music. And um, and kind of telling me that it's helping them in certain situations or their life in some way. So I, it's honestly really fulfilling, and it makes me kind of feel like it's set out to do something that I didn't intend, uh, which is great. The title of it is "Boys Afraid." So what does that like mean to you? Is there like a hidden meaning behind that, or is it just more? Of like yeah, there are a couple meanings, but the most recent one that I've kind of stuck with is that it's kind of the boy inside you that's afraid that you're kind of killing off and letting go to kind of evolve into like a man or a, a new person. Dave, did you like, you know, put your input on this and how did you collaborate with Star on that project or any project we want to discuss in it? No, um, yeah, I mean, writing that, <coughs> writing uh, this music with Sorrow is, uh, it's, we, we kind of each have different areas that we're contributing. Like I'm way more driven by uh, like sonics and texture and harmony, um, so I, that's kind of what I bring to the table. So if we're like we're gonna write a song together, I will kind of start with a chordal idea or a sample or a groove, and kind of Evan will help me or Sara will help me um, like dial it in and kind of make it really make it uh, sonically express what the vision is or what uh, the emotion that's driving the song is. How did actually this relationship start, you know, like creating this sort of basis for his, his uh, magic day over here? <laughs> 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 
So Dave and I have known each other since middle school, which is crazy wow. to believe, yeah. And we were just acquaintances, and then later on, um, maybe 10, no, not 10. Uh, yeah, just years later, we, we kind of discovered that we were both making music and got reconnected and um, and we decided to have a session together and then it kind of just like unfolded from there. It was almost instant. We were just like, holy shit, like something's happening here. And then we just continued to make music. And yeah, this is our second EP that we put out and we made a, a lot of music together. And it's, yeah, I feel like we make a great team because he's like so musical. He's like a musical genius. He knows theory and all that stuff. And he studied music in school where I studied business in school and kind of like fell into becoming a songwriter and expressing myself in that way. So kind of the mix of both of us has created. So what is something that you hope um, for this upcoming year? Um, whether it be new music or a performance that you really want to, a uh, festival you really want to perform at, you know, what's yeah. something that you just really So for? a lot of really great things are happening for us right now. Uh, we just put out the EP obviously and we've already started on a third EP just because we're crazy like that. Uh, but we're playing some festivals this year and the one that I'm really excited about is Bonnaroo because it's kind of like one of the dream festivals that I've always wanted to play. It's like probably one of the biggest ones in America. Um, so when we found out we were playing that, we kind of all freaked out. Uh, yeah, so that I'm excited for those two things. And then I'm also excited to create more visuals. I'm shooting a bunch of music videos for the Boy Grade project. Um, in, the, in the coming weeks, so I'm really stoked for those, and then for everything to come after that. I think this is going to be a really busy year. Are you still um, developing and creating those music videos on your own? Because yeah. I did read an article once that you uh, went into the, like a national park and you know you're trying to fill yeah. there. You know that's that's the dedication right there. In my opinion. Yeah. So yeah. So that was we were trying to shoot this video for Sky Doesn't Blue, which is on the EP, and um, and we got caught by the park rangers because we didn't have permits, we were like guerrilla shooting and yeah we got in trouble but luckily we got away without them like confiscating into the footage or anything. Um, but yeah so we are, I am still kind of doing it a lot by myself but I have expanded it and I have a team now and we are going about getting permits now finally for certain things. Um, so yeah it's, it's like a little bit of both. I'm doing most of it myself still but Kind of upgraded a little bit. So, what would like you tell individuals you know that are trying to pursue something you know, whether it be music or something that they're really passionate about? Because I know you'd very much love the message of empowerment of yeah. oneself. So, you know, especially where you're starting and it's so fresh for you, what would be like something you would like to? Yeah, I would say definitely try to stay as true to yourself as you can. Don't let anyone um, waver your vision, um, and try to be unique to be really unique and just work fucking harder than everyone else. I think that's, yeah, that's what I would like to say to any aspiring musicians. I definitely feel strongly that the most important thing you can offer as an artist or musician or person is like really representing yourself and your feelings and telling your story. Um, there is an incredible uh, pressure from that you know we generate ourselves and that we get from the outside world to uh, mold our sound or our story or our lyrics into something that is like already an established thing that might fit along someone else on a Spotify playlist or might be uh, marketable and might fit a little 90 second Instagram video or something like that and it's really easy to succumb to those kinds of things but I really think the things that last and the things that really resonate are uh, people and the work that they make that it's completely unfettered by those expectations. I think the things that really like grab you, uh, it's not because the song is like really well mixed and it's not because it's like a perfect three and a half minute little thing necessarily. It's things that are like bizarre and unique and vibrant and different. I, I really think that that's like the key to like. I, don't know. I fully agree. Yeah. yeah. If you could bring back one uh, artist from you know the, the past and you could perform with them, who would it be? Oh my gosh, that's so easy. Bob Marley. That would be so dope. His music is so timeless and classic, and has gotten me through so much stuff uh, over the years. Uh, yeah, I probably listen to him more than anyone. If I, 
put it all together <laughs> cumulatively. I think that he also, his performance was, is so like freeing and empowering. Um, so yeah, just to share a stage with him, it's insane. How about you, Dave? Would you bring back? Um, I would bring back Prince, but I wouldn't want to play. I just want to <laughs> listen. I just want to <laughs> sit in the front row and go like, ah! <laughs> Not even in the front, just private. Just yeah, like, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Love that. Thank you so much for coming and sitting down with us. Um, is there any last things you want to say, or you know, uh, um, where is actually your show that's going to be in Washington? Actually, it's in Spokane, Washington. Uh, uh, yeah, Gonzaga. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Once again, this is a special guest, Saro and Magic Dave. <laughs> Thank you for tuning to KCC Radio. See you soon. so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. Uh, my name's Saro, and this is Dave, and if you'd like to hear our music, you can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Music, and find us on Instagram at OnlySaro, O-N-L-Y-S-A-R-O. Thanks again. <laughs>